It's time to take a look at what's happening around Wyoming. I'm Wendy Corr, bringing you headlines from the Cowboy State Daily Newsroom for Tuesday, May 14th. A Wyoming sheriff is trying to recruit deputies by posting a billboard in Denver, Colorado. Laramie County Sheriff Brian Kozak told Cowboy State Daily's Claire McFarland that the billboard touts the whole state of Wyoming as a law and order state and that people in the Cowboy State value law enforcement. The sign the Laramie County Sheriff's Department put up in downtown Denver says work in Wyoming where breaking the law is still illegal and cops are still funded. And so that's a little bit of a barb to the city of Denver last month, slashing its law enforcement budget by $8.4 million to contend with what they're calling the migrant crisis and influx of migrants. Kozak said the goal isn't just to get warm bodies into uniforms. The hope is to get a high enough number of applicants from which to choose exceptional candidates. So they're down eight patrol positions and they have 17 detention positions yet to fill. And so that's after the hiring spree of last year, 72 people. I also talked to Sheridan Police Chief Travis Koltiska, who said they're down like eight positions. It's a recurring theme across the state, but Kozak is the one that decided to go ahead and advertise in downtown Denver. Kozak said his overtime costs from last year were over a million dollars. So the way he sees it, if he can get those positions filled, he can actually save money in the long run. A 16-year-old boy led Campbell County Sheriff's deputies on a high-speed chase for more than 13 minutes Friday evening, rocketing up to 142 miles per hour in a newly acquired black Cadillac. Cowboy State Daily's Jimmy Orr explained that the story isn't just in the high-speed chase. The story is the fact that the teenager and his 15-year-old passenger survived the joyride. We spoke to Vince Bodiford, who's a former professional race car driver, runs a site called the weekend drive. And as he points out, you know, the tires of a vehicle have to be rated to go to to be able to go that fast. And if not, you can only go that fast for so long until something's going to blow. And so had there been a problem with the tires at 142 miles an hour, it would have absolutely, as he said, destroyed the car. And so what he did was, as, as Vince said, was incredibly stupid. And he's really quite lucky to have been able to you know, not have an accident going at that speed. The teenage driver was still in jail as of press time Monday. A few dozen Thermopolis area residents peppered a Wyoming State Parks official Monday about their worries that a new operator will price out locals who enjoy Wyoming's most popular state park. Cowboy State Daily's Renee Jean was in Thermopolis for a public meeting about the new concessionaire who will be taking over the attractions at Hot Springs State Park. The top concern I heard today was people are worried that the park's not going to remain affordable. They've gone and they've looked at what Wyoming LLC is doing in other states. It's very expensive. It's like 120 bucks a pop. That's not something anyone here wants to spend to go to the state park in their backyard. I think currently the fees may be 15 bucks a day or something like that. Bighorn District Manager Jordan Brooks uh, told Cowboy State Daily that affordability is a top, if not the very top concern as they're working out the details of their contract with Wyoming LLC. Hot Springs State Park has long laid claim to being the world's largest mineral hot springs, and it is Wyoming's most popular state park. Torrington resident Jackie Van Mark spent most of her life growing up around politics. Her father worked in the administrations of four former presidents, in addition to serving in the Wyoming House of Representatives. Van Mark is taking on State Representative Scott Smith in his bid for re-election to a second term for House District 5 in the Wyoming Legislature, representing Southern and Western Goshen County. Politics reporter Leo Wolfson says this is the same seat that Van Mark's father, Jack, represented from 1961 to 1965. He was also a Republican, and Van Mark is a Republican trying to take on Representative Scott Smith uh, from Lingle in the Republican primary. Van Mark said that her biggest inspiration is that the legislature needs to become more civil. Some people will say that they don't care how the sausage is made, but she thinks it's very important how the sausage is made. She is a believer in compromise and striking middle ground on issues, uh, but she still believes in Wyoming's traditional energy 
sectors and wants to con- uh, continue to support those. Van Mark's opponent, Representative Scott Smith of Lengel, is a member of the Wyoming Freedom Caucus. He pointed out that Van Mark was a vocal supporter of Liz Cheney in her 2022 re-election campaign and questioned whether Van Mark really represents the majority of Goshen County voters. And judging by chatter and photos across social media, Wyoming's grizzlies have been plenty active this spring. And elk, deer, moose, and other critters that died over the winter are at the top of the grizzly menu. And one photographer this weekend was surprised and pleased when she didn't have to look too far to get some amazing pictures of a feasting grizzly, according to Outdoors reporter Mark Hines. She lives in Pinedale and she wanted to go to Yellowstone and photograph grizzlies. Didn't get hardly out of town and, and she spotted a grizzly right in the middle of the Holback River munching on a big game carcass, uh, apparently mm-hmm. a winter kill carcass, which that in and, of, in and of itself isn't unusual. That's what grizzlies are doing this time of year. They're out. Uh, ch- they came out of hibernation and they're chowing down in a big source of food for grizzlies this time of year is big game carcasses, just animals that have died over the winter that they found. Grizzlies will sometimes tussle with each other, wolves or other predators and scavengers to see who gets the choicest parts of carcasses that are released as the snow and ice melts each spring. And that's today's news. Get your free digital subscription to Wyoming's only statewide newspaper by hitting the subscribe button on CowboyStateDaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily.